This mistake is extremely common, especially for new riders. So as you go to take off in first gear, you're easing out the clutch. Once the bike starts to move because you're in the friction zone, a lot of times riders just let go of the clutch from there and it just jerks them forward or it may stall the bike, right? So once you start to ease out the clutch, once you get into the friction zone, wherever it is on your bike where the bike actually begins to move, once you get it there, you add a little bit of gas and then you keep on releasing the clutch the rest of the way. It's not extremely slow motion releasing it the whole way, but it's not just letting go of it either. And whenever you, so now you're in first gear, you're rolling down the road, you go to switch to second, you pull the clutch in and you don't have to pull it in all the way, right? So this is all the way in and this is fully out. The friction zone is only about a half inch right there. So all you need to do is just pull the clutch in enough just to take away the power, right? So you pull the clutch in enough, like for my bike, for this bike, I only use two fingers. I pull the clutch in, that's enough to take away the power, shift gears, and then as I get back into the friction zone, add a little bit of gas, and then I ease it out the rest of the way. I never just shift and then just let go of the clutch. That's what's creating the jerkiness. Every time the bike is bouncing up and down, going forward and backwards like this, is because your hands are moving too fast, and that's what it means to be smooth. That literally means slow your hands down. As you're shifting, don't just let go of the clutch. As you're using the throttle on or off, don't just chop it or just jerk it, right? Everything needs to be slow and smooth with your hands. It'll make your life a whole lot easier. And since you shift so much, you would think you'd be good at it, right? So while you're practicing shifting, you don't just let go of it and you don't just go super, super, super slow motion either. It's kind of like a happy medium. You pull in the clutch, zero throttle, you pull in the clutch, shift into the next gear. Now, once you get into the friction zone, then just kind of ease it out the rest of the way as you start to add a little bit of throttle. It's just the timing of it all you have to work on.